Calisphere and the Online Archive of California are two free services that bring together primary source collections from throughout California. These services are supported by the California Digital Library to help researchers discover the unique collections stewarded by the libraries, archives, museums, and other cultural heritage organizations across our state. The California Digital Library is part of the University of California system. We're a system-wide entity. We work closely with the 10 UC campuses, but we're not tied to any specific library or campus. We provide a lot of system-wide services for the UC libraries, but we also offer a lot of services beyond the campuses. Calisphere and the OAC are both examples in which we work with libraries, archives, and museums beyond the 10 UC campuses, and we provide these aggregations that are freely available to the public as part of our public service mission. As a researcher, you can discover primary source materials in two major ways. The first is through finding aids, which essentially offer detailed descriptions and inventories of primary source collections, including information about the materials, such as photographs, manuscripts, papers, scrapbooks, and so on, that you may discover in the collection. These descriptions include information about how you may access, request, and use the physical collections on site. The second is through digital content, which includes things like scans of photographs, paintings, writings, and more. Digital content can be made available online, enabling you to access and view the collections from anywhere. The Online Archive of California and Calisphere are complementary services that we support. OAC is a system for finding aids and description about collections, and Calisphere is a service for aggregating digital collections. Calisphere includes documents of world events and expressions of human culture, and these materials are not limited by subject or scope. But with that said, the collection is particularly strong in United States and California history, due largely in part to the collection emphases of the contributing organizations in California that we work with. Although Calisphere is primarily developed and hosted by the California Digital Library, the collections are owned and contributed by our statewide partners, including all 10 UC campus libraries, as well as public libraries, academic libraries, museums, historical societies throughout California. We currently work with over 300 cultural heritage organizations. In Calisphere, you'll find digital access to over 1.8 million primary resources including photographs, documents, letters, and so much more. Calisphere continues to see steady and rapid growth every year, not only adding new contributors, but more content as well. As for types of formats, most of these are images, but there is also increasingly a number of texts, videos, sound files, and data sets. With new collections and items added weekly by contributing partners, you can be sure to discover new research resources as the content in Calisphere continues to grow. In this overview, we'll demonstrate three ways to discover digital primary sources in Calisphere by conducting keyword searches, browsing through collections, and exploring themed exhibitions. Let's conduct a keyword search. Let's try war relocation which brings up over 17,000 items in the search results. And then search within the results to further refine. Let's try Dorothea Lane, which brings it down to about 850 items. And we can also use the filter options on the left to filter by item type, decade, contributing institution, or collection. Let's choose the 1940s. Here we have a set of search results. Let's choose an item to see more details. When you select an item, you will see the digital item displayed front and center, such as this image titled, Following Evacuation Orders, This Store at 13th and Franklin Streets was closed. You may scroll down to find the item is accompanied by several brief descriptions or metadata. These descriptions include information about the collection or the object and is presented as factual information. You can use the information in the metadata alongside the primary source record to analyze the resource and ask questions such as, what type of document is this? Who created it and why? 
When was this created? What was or is the purpose of this document? What does the document reveal about the period in which this was created? What evidence shows this? What research questions could this primary source answer? And what else would you like to know about this document? Though you may be unable to answer all of your questions, the information available in the record can help you think critically through the evidence available and identify additional questions as you conduct your research. Once you, as a researcher, determine whether you'd like to include a digital resource in your research project, there are several key features on the item page to help you use this resource. The first feature, Calisphere makes it easy for users to cite the item in view. If you are interested in including a reference to this object, you can select the Get Citation button, which will pop out a window that includes all the essential information that can be included in a citation. The second feature to highlight is that we try to make it easy to contact the contributing organization directly. If, for instance, you need a high quality copy, you may select the Contact Owner button to find information about getting in touch with the contributor. Third, the metadata, or the descriptions, are part of the Creative Commons public domain, thus removing all restrictions on the use of the metadata that describes these cultural works. Note that this only applies to the description and not the digital object content. Fourth, there's a link just below the image that says View Source on the contributor's website. You may select this link which may provide additional features to zoom in or view additional pages. You may also have the option to download a higher resolution version of the item. Calisphere's contributors share content through collections, a set of items that are related to each other by topic, theme, creator, source, or another organized way. These are just a handful of collections in Calisphere, which through these primary sources share insight into nearly 120,000 Japanese Americans incarcerated during World War II, such as photographs of Japanese Americans incarcerated in camps across California, including Manzanar, Santa Anita, San Bruno, and Tilly Lake, diaries such as those of Stanley Hayami from Los Angeles, who attended high school at the Heart Mountain concentration camp in Wyoming, oral histories about the Manzanar War Relocation Center, with interviews conducted by the National Park Service, watercolor paintings, and the personal papers of Estelle Ishigo from Oakland, who documented life at the Heart Mountain concentration camp, and ongoing digitization efforts conducted by the California State University archives to bring together these distributed and disparate resources into a single website. This is just a small sample. There are more collections to be discovered to provide additional perspectives from a variety of sources and through many different formats to help inform your research. Calisphere also features something we call exhibitions. Many of these were developed as themed collections, as groups of primary resources curated around a theme. Exhibition themes may be valuable resources to help begin your research process and feature digitized primary sources from libraries, archives, and museums throughout California. Some highlights include a theme focused on World War II, which includes focused topics on Japanese American incarceration, as well as the 442nd Regimental Combat Team. The Japanese American Relocation Digital Archive, or JARDA, includes primary sources that bring you inside the story of Japanese American incarceration during World War II to share a glimpse into the people, places, daily lives, and personal experiences through historical context. California Cultures, Asian Americans is a focused theme that is a part of a series studying the diverse cultures in California. This particular theme includes a focus on the lives of Asian Americans in the early 20th century through World War II, as well as everyday life and cultural traditions. These themes feature curated sets of items with scholarly interpretation that contribute to historical understanding. The digital content that you'll find in Calisphere only represents a small fraction of primary source materials. However, most collections haven't yet been scanned or digitized. The Online Archive of California is our service for aggregating finding aids across the state. 
libraries, archives, museums, and other cultural heritage organizations prepare and publish their finding aids to help researchers discover, identify, and understand primary resources beyond the materials that are digitally available online. The OEC currently has over 50,000 finding aids or collections available for you to research and discover. Over 300 institutions contribute finding aids to the OEC, including many that also make their digital collections available through Callus here. Finding aids are front and center in the OAC within the context of both search results and browsing. Here's a browsable list of finding aids held by the Japanese American National Museum. And here's an example of what a classic finding aid looks like. First, the finding aid will feature an overview of the collection. Next, on the right side, you have options to search within the collection by typing in keywords. Third, you can also opt to use the right-hand table of contents to drill within the collection contents and browse the inventory. Finally, if you come across materials you'd like to see in more detail, you'll see information about how to request or access the collection and contact the organization for reference assistance. Note that some materials may be digitized and available. In those cases, the finding aids will also provide a link if online items are available. Both Calisphere and the Online Archive of California are freely available for research and discovery, so please feel free to get started with your search. And feel free to contact us if you have any questions or would like to share feedback about OAC and Calisphere. We also welcome your stories. Has Calisphere or the OAC helped you advance your research, complete a project, or find something meaningful? We'd love to hear about it, so please feel free to send us a message. Thank you.